Cinema 5D at Photokina 2016 is brought to you by Angelbird, there to capture your creative moments. Tilta, arm your camera. Genus Tech, redefining the price point for quality camera accessories. Blackmagic Design, creating amazing solutions for film, post-production and television. And Manfrotto, imagine more. Hi, this is Seb from Cinema 5D and we're here at the Sigma booth and Sigma announced a new lens a few days ago. Um, Paul, nice to see you again. We saw you at IBC. And what uh, is the special thing about this new lens? Well, this is a 12 to 24 mil f4 constant aperture, and it's designed for full frame. Uh, so it can be used on obviously full frame as well as APS-C cameras. Um, it has a, a rather large uh, front element, as you can see, it's the largest aspherical, molded aspherical element we've ever produced. And in fact, we had to create new technologies in order to produce it. Um, it's got an 80 millimeter diameter, so it's pretty special. Uh, but of course, you need that to have such a wide angle at f4. 12 millimeter, that is pretty, pretty wide. Um, isn't there a lot of distortion? Does it have like a fish eye look or something like that? Actually, no, it's, it's no distortion at all. Um, we've had a 12 to 24 mil beforehand. Um, which was very good, um, but had a, had a little distortion. This is a completely new optical design, and the charts we've seen so far from samples, it's distortion free, no pin cushion, it's fabulous, really, really impressive. Nice, and the aperture is f4 all the way from 12 to 24 millimeters. Yeah. It's a constant aperture of f4 all the way through. Um, has uh, weather sealing on the rear mount, has an O-ring sealing. Um, it's compatible with our Sigma USB dock, so you can do lens updates, firmware updates, if a new camera comes out. It's essentially future-proofing the lens, which is obviously a useful feature to have. Nice. Which mounts does it come with? It's going to be available uh, in Canon EF, Nikon and Sigma mount. And we also produce uh, an, an MC11, which is a Sony E-mount converter. So you can attach the Canon EF or Sigma SA mount to a Sony E-mount camera just by using this MC11 converter. Okay, so then you have full controls over the lens with an E-mount camera like yeah. the Sony A7 series, for example. That's exactly right. Yeah, the converter keeps all the EXIF data, all the autofocus functions as though it's a native Sony lens. Uh, one more question, which is always interesting for video shooters. Um, does it have hard stops? at the end, you know, this, the focus ring, does it have hard stops? Uh, the, the focus ring, no, it just carries on. So if you want to keep going, it'll stop. So you're not damaged the lens in any way. Okay. Do, you, do you plan to um, convert this lens to a Cine uh, housing? Um, we're still studying the Cine market. Um, we do plan to increase lenses, but at the stage, I don't know what, what the new lenses will be. So it's something that we're still studying at the moment. And uh, what is pricing and availability for this lens? Availability, there will be around in October this year. And pricing is going to be somewhere between sixteen and $1,700. Cool, thank you very much. And thank you for watching.